Yo, what's up, everyone? This is K Kai here, back again with a new episode of Epic Seven Video. And today we'll be taking a look at the Green Rin in RTA PvP. Yeah, actually, I think this hero is a very underrated four-star hero. Very, very strong. Sitting at the table right here, this chocolate waifu. Uh, we all know like the ML Rin, right? It's a very fast speed contester. Uh, Moonlight version of Rin, but the regular version is also very strong. If you like my video, please make sure to click on the like and don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new. And uh, let me show you right my Rin. So Rin has a very unique S3 here. So it's a heal and uh, uh, dispel one debuff if you use exclusive equipment. And most importantly, grant two random buffs for three turns. Uh, to all members, right? This can be insane if you get like a, a greater attack buff and the critical hit damage, right? At the same time on your DPS, it basically is over. It's like a, a big damage for the DPS. Or maybe you can get evasion, right? Or defense, right? To make your team unkillable. So Ring is super strong against like a team without any strips, right? A team with uh, maybe without Bazaar or if the opponent doesn't have Bazaar or Byseria, right? Ring is uh, super good. And S2's armor break can chain into S1, not a big deal. And S1 just like a simple attack and has a chance to dispel one buff. Uh, yeah, and increase combat readiness. That's why you can also build her on counter set. But personally, I like the speed Rin, right? One of the biggest drawback for Rin is like her base speed is really slow. I think it's only a hundred or something, right? Uh, but my Rin, I built her on a speedy, you know, buffer build like the DN, right? Uh, you can compare Rin uh, to DN because it's similar, right? DN puts up like attack buff and anti crit, but Rin can put up two random buffs, uh, very strong. So I built her like. Uh, uh, speedy right to go before the team and to have this also have this uh, Celestine to heal up right when using S1 because this S2 can chain into the S1 you can use any other uh, Soul Weaver artifact right? also can be really good I think Water's Origin is probably the best right because to make her uh, unkillable uh, yeah and the ring has base health is quite high actually uh, so it's uh, very nice and also for imprint, I choose to use the team imprint to help boost up the survivability of my tanks or DPS because I think Rin is there only for the buff, right? She can die, but like uh, that really helps. You can also use the uh, self imprint as well. Yeah, I think Rin is super under underrated, right? She is super strong right? when you when you get those buffs out, and it's a lot of fun. Let's take a look at the RTA fight. Okay, we are in Master League for our first fight against Seven Heavens. I banned out the Bazaar because uh, Bazaar hard counters buffs team. Okay, first pick General Perkins. I picked Cerise and Arbiter Vildry. Yeah, Arbiter Vildry is very powerful here. And we're gonna pick Rin next. Oh, the Landy. Landy is kind of good against the buff team, right? Very good against Rin, to be honest. But we're gonna pick Rin anyway. Yeah, Landy and the crowd pick. So we're gonna pick the Rin, and we're gonna pick another Knight here. Probably the Aras, yeah. For the dual attack and the defense buff. And the last pick is gonna be a DPS. Oh, the fairy tale. Fairy tale also very good against my team at the moment. Uh, so I have to ban the fairy tale probably. Yeah, yeah, I need to ban the fairy tale. S10 ban, interesting. So let's see the true power of the level 50 green ring. 
yeah, I give the health imprint to Cerise and uh, Aras. Let's go. So is this a ER Lilius? Another uh, ER Lilius. Okay, watch this, watch this. Do the dance, do the dance. Yeah. Look at that. Boom! Three turn critical hit damage buff and defense buff on my Avatar Vildre and boom straight into the Landy. Almost one shot the Landy. And the greater attack buff on my Cerise. And uh, what, what else? Defense buff on a Ross as well. Big damage incoming. Look at the damage. Landy is dead. Yeah, at this point it's over because like we just did too much damage, right? Imagine if I get like two buffs, right? The uh, greater attack and the critical hit damage buff on my Arbiter. Basically, it's a one shot of the entire team. But although that probability is very low, right? Okay, we come back, no gap. Okay. Uh, probably gonna work on my arbiter. Yeah, but at this point it doesn't matter because the fight is already won, right? Like, uh, even though if my arbiter is dead, like we can still kill off the entire team. We can stun here and uh, work on the crown. Yeah. I'm a brick. Look at this. I'm a brick. Nice, but no S1 though. So yeah, Bob, Bob, okay. Let's do this. No and we still have a uh, defense buff from Ross, so we're gonna be very tanky, right? Okay, but at this point, it's over. And level 50 green ring, man, like those clutch buffs, so much fun, you know. Pop pop. Yeah, it's over. Okay, for our second fight, we are in high champion. Uh, playing with Green Rin. All right, let's have some fun. So first pick our crown. I answer with the double DPS Arbiter and uh, S10. Okay, Alencia. Alencia is also good into Rin because she can strip those buffs. Uh, but we're gonna play with Rin anyway. This time level 60 Rin fully awakened. Yeah, I finally built my Rin. And we're gonna go with the Water Rose to contest turn 1. Oh, SSB, very nice pick. Probably gonna ban SSB or whatever's here, right? For me. Oh, Sinful Angelica, I have to ban this one. So we're gonna pick the Roana here. So he has to ban the Roana. So we are guaranteed turn one, or he's dead, right? So let's see, Green Rin into a Lancia and this tanky team. Oh, not banning the Roana. So this time I give the health imprint to my S10 and the Roana here. Yeah. Let's see. So we're gonna go first. Oh, the very fast LR crawl. But so we can heal back, right? We can heal back from the ring. Holy moly, half health. Okay, we do the dance, we heal back. Yeah. Kaboom. Look at that evasion on my S10. And we have a, 
uh, what is it? Critical hit damage buff on Arbiter Vildred. Very nice. So we double tap, do as much damage as possible, and we do this. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, very tanky, almost dead SSP. Okay, okay. So, evasion, come on, let's go. Yeah, look at that, miss on my S10. -y. Mm -hmm. Counter Rana. So here we can heal up again and then put up the revive buff. We still have evasion. Oh, didn't evade, but it's okay, right? Didn't get stunned either. So evasion this time. Nice, nice, nice. Look at look at the evasion, man. Look at the evasion. RB is dead, RB is dead. Yeah, RB is dead. So RB is dead here probably. And gonna come back. Okay, nice dual attack. Oh, no gap. So we have to sober to do as much damage as possible here. And hopefully S10 can clean up right in the end. So now we work on the we work on the SSB, right? Got another counter. Heal up. Oh, Rin is dead. Rin is dead. So, probably gonna kill my Arbiter. Okay, kill the Arbiter. Kill the Arbiter. Oh, and kill the Rin. Okay. We are in a 2v4 situation. Oh, Rin is not dead. Uh, we have to kill the Crow before he can horse again, right? But we still have Zoana, remember? Armor break here. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, nice armor break. And into a dual attack, into the Celestine. And to give more turn, right? To my S10. So we kill the crowd here. Got another counter. Heal up. Okay, this is a very dangerous situation because we are in a 2v3 situation. With Alencia and the uh, SSB still alive. Step back. So we're gonna work on the SSB next. Because I don't want to proc my side, right? So oh we don't have a soul burn. Bob? Okay, SSB dead. Alencia, Alencia has one turn to kill my uh Zoana. So is she gonna do the double tap, right? But we're gonna heal right from that. Oh, okay, doing the S3. Oh, oh no no no. Oh we survive. Okay, nice, nice. Nice. So 2v2 situation with the counter Luana. And we kill the Alencia here, right? Because General Purgis doesn't have S3. Yeah, and we push them back. Yeah, and then oh, we got a lucky dual attack. And we soul burn to finish off. Very nice green win, win right? That evasion buff, man. Very clutch on my S10. Very nice. And that's all the time I have for you guys today. In summary, I think Rin is super strong and super underrated, right? Uh, she can shine in certain situations and it's a very strong pick, to be honest. And uh, I highly suggest you to build her if you want to have some fun with those crazy buffs. Uh, yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video.